Hey everyone, my name is Gunther and I'm here to show you the first of what I hope are going to be many tutorials on some of the tips and tricks I've learned in Planet Zoo and what better place to start than with some climbing structures. So you've seen me struggle with climbing structures in the past, we've seen that with the Wolverine episode, and I stumbled across this really cool idea and I wanted to share this tutorial with everybody else. So really all it's going to take are five different pieces. We're going to start off with our African logs. These are going to be our base structure points. Now you can replace this with anything else you would like. If you want to have the natural climbing logs, by all means, I prefer the African logs. Next, we're going to need some climbing platforms and you can vary the size. You can go small, medium or large, make various sizes. They're all going to work. It's down to what you think is going to be best for your build. Next, we're going to need some ropes and these can be either straight or curved or even a mix. Now, I prefer the curved look, but that's just me. But of course, you can always do what best works for you. Next, we're gonna need some rope piles as well. These are really just to help mask the ropes and their connection points on your new climbing structure. It's gonna make it look a little bit more natural. It's gonna hide some of those more rougher edges. And lastly, you're gonna need some Australian planks. And these are gonna act as the stepping platforms for your animals to interact with. And again, give it that more natural look. Now, the really cool part about building this particular type of structure, you can kind of see it coming together, it's going to take a little bit of finessing, more so because you're going to have to work within the rope confines, but you have a lot of freedom to adjust it to fit your needs. Now, in order to create a more natural looking platform, you're going to want to make sure that you create from various levels. And really, this is super easy. All you have to do is sink some of your platforms into the ground, maybe rotate them around a little bit, change out the type of climbing structure you have. You can see that I've created a main climbing platform. It's going to be a little bit larger, and that's going to be the one platform that we want our raccoons, in this case, to hang out on. Now don't fall into that trap of creating a linear climbing structure. It's very easy for you to do this unintentionally. And all you have to do to make sure you break it up is to create some additional platforms off to the sides. These are gonna act as different ways for your raccoons to traverse. It's also gonna add a little bit of additional realism and depth to your entire climbing structure. Now consider taking this to the next step as well. Reconnect these offshoot paths back to your main travel point. And all you have to do is really just add in a separate platform, maybe add in some additional ropes, and then you've got a really cool looking, pretty realistic climbing platform. Now, just remember that you're gonna have to finagle with this a little bit. And really what I mean by that is your ropes are gonna be different lengths. In this case, we went with the curved ropes, so we really can't add any more length to them. So you just have to adjust them to make sure that they fit correctly. It might take a little bit to get there, but once you've done so, you're gonna have a really natural looking climbing platform for you to add into your habitats. Now the fourth piece we're going to use is the rope pile. Remember, this is just going to help to mask all of your connection points. It's going to hide any of those jagged lines and it's going to allow you to work a little bit more with some maybe gaps or incorrectly attaching items. Now remember, nothing is ever perfect. So if it doesn't look great the first time, don't worry, feel free to start again. Every time you're going to rebuild your climbing structure or any structure for that matter, it's going to look a little different. It's going to look a little bit better and you're going to learn some new techniques. Now the last piece I'm going to add in are going to be these Australian planks. I went with the 0.5 meter ones. I feel that it fits the best. It's really just going to add some additional touch points for your animals to traverse on. And with this final piece, we've created a rather realistic looking climbing structure. Now nothing is ever perfect. I mentioned that earlier. So of course, there's always going to be room for improvement. You may take this tutorial and add in some different changes to it. And that's totally cool. That's the idea of learning new things. Now, I hope this is going to be the first of many different tutorial episodes that you're going to see on this channel. If you have any feedback for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, and as always, thank you so much. And of course, ciao for now, everybody.